Hi, my name is Vincent Sinnott. I'm the son of Josie Sinnott, who played for Dublin against Tipperary on Bloody Sunday with his two brothers, John, who played corner forward, and Stephen, who played full forward. Um, I'm just here to relate one or two things that over the years, my father and uncle told the family and cousins about some events of it. I recall my father telling us that when the shooting started, there was a lot of confusion in Crow Park and around. And he made his way, he saw somebody, he made his way up to under Hill 16, where my uncle John was playing, and saw someone hurt lying on the ground. He thought it might have been him, but it, it, it wasn't because there was a cold over him. And so it wasn't, him. my uncle John had made his way down, ran down the canal and climbed over the canal wall and swam across the canal and made his way down to a place to the family home in Sheriff Street. The teams temporarily in Dublin were taken off the pitch and un brought under the stands and dressing rooms where they were questioned over various elements of the thing. And they were there for a long time and eventually they were told to go home and dress and leave. My father then made his way down to uh, his home in Sheriff Street. There's a lot of story saying that uh, Tipperary players stayed in houses down in a civil place, which was adjacent to a hundred civil place, which was the O'Toole's clubhouse. Now I know that some of the Tipperary players stayed in my father's, Stephen's and John's house in Sheriff Street that night and went home the next morning. The association was with the O'Toole's was during that period in the twenties, O'Toole's were very prominent in the in the Dublin County Championships, and they won champ nine in a row from nineteen eighteen to nineteen twenty six. During that period, Dublin played five All Ireland football finals in a row, twenty to twenty four, and there was a sprinkling of O'Toole's players that played in those finals. My my father won senior All Ireland football medals. And he won a junior medal in 1916 or 14, I don't remember, a junior football medal. Um, he did originally play for a team called the Emeralds, which was another team down in civil place, but they disbanded. So this, the, him and his brothers joined O'Toole's along with the McDonald's, and that's how the association came about. He never spoke at great length about the... Uh, instance in Crow Park unless you asked them. So when he gave up football, they, they had a family business in Sheriff Street, a shop and a coal merchants. And he worked there until, well, until he retired and died.